Hi guys, I'm sharing my first make using the Good Vibes kit from the Lollipop Box Club this month. I wanted to make a mini book um, that had lots of kind of pockets and tucking bits. Um, so I found these envelopes in my stash. I don't have the card blanks, so I think I must have just bought a bundle of envelopes at one point. But I've had them for quite a while. I've started off gluing the first flap there. Um, of the original envelope just inside itself then I've glued the back of the second envelope and tucked that in and that's kind of made the cover I, I did kind of try and work out before I started recording um, which way they should go but even now I think this is the one I glue on the wrong side and I, I just can't work out which um, way they should go to make the pages so I'm going to have another try here and I think I've got the right side this time. So I've opened the two envelopes up and I'm just going to tuck that one in again. And it's just up to kind of the top flap and then push it down and that's another page. It's kind of a mixture of um, full pages and then ones kind of with the sliding pockets um, where the envelope is. So I'm just working out there and then I think it only used five envelopes for this because it was already quite bulky um, and I do want to add um, quite a bit into the pockets. I want to add some like tippings and um, journaling and photos maybe into those pockets. So I don't add too many envelopes initially I don't think. I think I'm just going to use one more here but I use it um, to at the back and I use it to flip out so it just adds an extra little um, flip out. I think there must have been a better way to do this because I did end up having to cut bits down and things when I covered it with paper but I was happy with it anyway. I'm just lining up there in um, the page. It seems a bit ski wet, so I'm just kind of making sure it lies flat and things. I want to add um, a closure to it, so I think I'm just going to get a bit of twine um, and I'll washi tape it to the front and back cover, and then because I'm going to cover those um, with some cardstock anyway. So. I've already cut these papers down and worked out which ones I wanted on each page. I'm going to use the craft papers um, for the front and back cover and then I've just trimmed some of the other papers to cover um, the pages inside. I am going to leave the sides with the envelope flaps blank just now and I'm going to go back um, over it and embellish it all once I decide um, what I'm going to use it for just so it's got more of a kind of same running theme through it.
This is where I start, or this is where I decide that I want to cover up that kind of messy flap there. There's probably an easier way to do this, but at the time I thought this was it. Um, so I just kind of faff about trying to get it to fit so that it's still a pocket, um, but so that all the different layers are covered. I do eventually get there and I just um, stick it down and I'm quite happy with it. And I will go back with the embellishments and stickers and things and cover some of the rough bits up. I'm just trying to work out um, what to put on the cover. I did um, really want this Good Vibes postcard on the front, um, but it was just a bit too wide. I probably could have cut it down, um, but I don't want to kind of cut the edges of the artwork off, and I'll keep that to use on something else. I think this is giant tags there and I'm just working out kind of what bits I want to put on the cover um, and where I'm going to place them.
I'm just, I think this little remembers the last thing that I add to the cover and then I'm quite happy with it. I'm just going to have a quick flick through, make sure the pages that I wanted to be covered with some cardstock are covered at the moment and then I'll go back kind of in a few days once I've decided what I'm going to do with it and fill all those other bits in. Thanks for watching. Bye.